Mass transportation systems are an obvious choice for bombers. A metro train in Russia's second city of St. Petersburg was the target, and the explosive device apparently went off as the train was moving between stations. Mobile phone footage showed the train stopped at the next station with a huge hole ripped in the side of one of the carriages as people attempted to get the wounded out. Passengers then tried to give first aid to the injured on the platform as reports emerged that the device had been filled with shrapnel. They were carrying out victims, said this eyewitness. One person had their limbs severed. Others who were on the train had to make their way through acrid smoke to the safety of the surface. When I turned back and looked, there was a huge number of people lying there. There were dead bodies. It was scary. And when we left, they took out several people covered in blood. There was a woman, her whole face and nose, all of it was a massive wound. Above ground, a helicopter ambulance landed in the middle of the road. By this time, the whole metro system had been shut down. Reports emerged that a second bomb had been defused at another station. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, was told of the attack while he was himself just outside St. Petersburg, meeting President Lukashenko of Belarus. I would like to express sincerest condolences to relatives of the killed and wounded. I have already spoken with the chiefs of the special services, the FSB director and law enforcement bodies. We will do everything to identify the reasons for what happened, give a full evaluation of what happened, and city and federal authorities will do everything possible to support the families of our killed and injured citizens. Local officials then declared three days of mourning in the city. At the present moment, all victims are being given the necessary medical assistance in the hospitals of St. Petersburg. Uh, they have all been um, identified and uh, the investigative committee is at work already. But security analysts had pointed out several days ago that ISIL had been threatening Russia and had claimed responsibility for an attack in Chechnya. That would create a working assumption that this was in revenge for Russia's position on Iraq and Syria, its support for President Assad and its air campaign. For years, Russia's cities had faced bomb attacks from Chechens and other groups in the Caucasus, but gradually they were lessening. The question is whether this is the start of a new campaign against Russia. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.